everyone, it's Helen here from Bodywork Pilates and using the squashy ball underneath the hip provides a great challenge for balance. It also can sometimes take out that discomfort that you can feel when you lie down into a hard surface. So you want to have quite a bit of give in the ball, okay? And you're also going to be resting onto your forearm. So take the ball and just pop it at the upper thigh hip area. Now I say that because limb length plays a part here. So if when you are resting on the ball, you feel your weight's resting straight down and uh, you can't lift up out of your shoulder and you want to feel that you're not pushing off the floor, but you want to feel like you're being pulled off the floor by the upper edge of the body. If at that point you can't lift your legs up without sinking down, then the ball needs to be adjusted. If it's way too easy to get the legs up off the floor, then you need to adjust the ball. So if it was, if it was impossible, then the ball is probably too high up the hip. If it's just way too easy, it's probably too far down the thigh. So sometimes it takes a little bit of adjustment. Now, as always, we need to think about the way we stack our hips, the way we stack our shoulders and the position of the head. I'm not suggesting that your head is necessarily going to be in exactly the same position with the spine as it would be in standing, because otherwise you'd be a little bit like that. So you'll probably find that you're slightly kinked into the neck, but you definitely shouldn't have your head pressing forward. You don't want to be looking down. If you start to feel tension in the neck, just turn the head, look down towards the elbow, look um, over the shoulder, doesn't really matter. And if possible, once you've got your position, I want you to think about, again, lifting as if somebody had hold this top hand, so we're not pushing off the floor, we're being pulled off the floor. And then can you let your legs lift as well? And can you maintain that balance so you've got your hip above your hip and your shoulder above your shoulder? You should feel this working into your waist. And then from here, can you lift and lower the top leg? So keep lifting up out of the shoulder, watching out for that tension in the neck. Finding the balance of hip above hip. You'll feel those abdominals working. You'll definitely feel that waist work. It's a great to work around the waist and into that lower back. Ooh, a little bit wobbly there. Okay, lifting and lowering, lift and feeling that work in the outside edge of the hip. Every time you need a breather, you can just take one and then come back to it. You will, of course, notice that one side is much more manageable of the, of the, than the other because we always know it's very different one side compared to the other. So the placement of the ball might be different. The tension around the neck might be different. The ease or difficulty of being able to lift away might be different. So do whatever you need to do. Don't assume it's gonna be exactly the same on one side compared to the other. And then lifting those legs if you can, really feel it worth working into the waist. And then again, lifting and lowering trying to hold your best balance. Ooh, easier said than done on this side. Okay, so using the ball just underneath the outer hip thigh area, making those little adjustments that you need to make adds a real challenge because of course the ball wants to move in any direction it wants to go. So a little bit more challenging for your side lying uh, work that will work into the outer hip thigh and of course putting particular effort into the waist a little bit of shoulder girdle work see how you get on with that and let me know all right i'll speak to you soon